Good morning, my YouTube rock stars. It's Christmas Day, and I'm going to attempt to vlog some of my day and share the experiences with you. So we do have a few family and friends that's coming over for dinner, and I'm not doing most of the cooking, but I'm doing some cooking. For that cooking, I have opted to do the simpler dishes. And as an outsourcer by profession, I'm outsourcing the most complex ones. So we're headed to the kitchen. So we're heading to the kitchen, which is where we're gonna start preparing that simpler dish that I mentioned, which is, ta-da, my pepper shrimp. And I'm sure you have seen my YouTube video on how to prepare this pepper shrimp. But if you haven't seen it yet, it's time now to go and watch it. So all I'm doing today is I'm preparing the pepper shrimp, doing a pasta, of course, preparing the dessert and the refreshment, I believe. I think that's it. Everything else is being outsourced. But before I can start cooking, I need to go outside and water some essential plants. And later I'll try to water everything before the day is out. So let's go outside and get that done. So now we're outside and we have a watering canister, which is what I use when I'm not doing a lot of watering. I don't have a sprinkling system everywhere, but I find that even where I have it, I still opt to water. I guess for me it's like therapy, just coming out and applying water to the plants. I actually get a lot of fulfillment out of it. So that's why I continue to do it. And I'm gonna just water my pancettas. So we have one over here. So let's make sure it's well watered because you know these have a way of looking a little bit quail. They don't get the needed water. Let's go to, we have some succulents over here on a table. So we're going towards that. Everything else we'll have to water or just Allow whatever sprinkling to water it and then we're going to one more place this these are succulents as well and I absolutely love this arrangement take a look at it and tell me what you think isn't that gorgeous let's add some water to it not too much so now we're gonna head to the other pancetas. Let me pause this camera because it's a decent walk. Garden. Now we are doing our Christmas dinner in the garden this year. So you can see the tables and chairs are out behind me. I'm just waiting for the sun to go down a little bit to start decorating the tables, putting out the flatware, and of course get it ready for the dinner and see the pancetas here that we're gonna water make sure they're nicely refreshed so, one more that i'm going to water this one is sun facing so it has the potential to quail very readily so it's important that it gets sufficient water all right we're gonna this bromilla over here it looks very dry so i'm gonna add some water to that as well so that's it for right now so i'm gonna head back into the house and start the cooking and the prepping get that going and then i'll come back outside and start setting up the tables laying out the flatware and if i have time i have some lanterns and so on that i'd like to put out one of the things that we like to do every christmas or new year's is to release a lantern and you know make a wish for our family so if we have time today we'll do it if not it will have to stay until the new year so let's see how it goes so let's head back inside now and i'll see how much of that i can vlog as a part of our christmas how could i forget we have to water our vegetables so right here i have some 
hachi pepper, of course lettuce, just different type of vegetables that we have to make sure we eat from the land. I, I've said it in multiple videos. videos that palm tree is not edible. There's a lot that it does from a decor perspective, but when it comes to eating from your land, you need to make sure you have fruits and vegetables. So what you just saw me do is water some vegetables and the fruits are okay because we have rain almost every day where we live. So they're okay. So I think I'm done for now. So let's head back in the house. All right, so we're back on the inside and it's time to get our light meals ready for Christmas dinner. So let's head into the kitchen and let's get our shrimp and stuff ready. So I'm gonna put you on a tripod so you can see everything that I'm doing because holding this camera will limit my capabilities. So let's do that and get started. Okay. So now we're all set up in the kitchen and uh, you should have, let me see, a decent view of the space and I'll try to carry a smaller camera with, camera with me where I can actually zoom in and show you some footage. So let's go. So let's go back to our shrimp, which is what we'll be preparing first. And then we will be heating and slicing a ham. We won't be preparing it. And after that, we will be just making sure our salad, our salad is fine. And then we should be good. So we have already done a video of the pepper trim on YouTube. So I won't show you how to do it. That's not what the video is about. It's a vlog, it's highlights of the day. So go and watch that video. I'll link it somehow. Let me see if I can figure that out. And I'll show you this. I just showed you before. I'll show you while it's been cooked and I'll show you after. So the great thing about this pepper shrimp is that this is all the ingredients it needs. Just the shrimp, we put some good old scotch bonnet pepper, and of course, we're using Maggi soup. So As you can see, it's starting to turn nice and pink. And you know, shrimp takes just a few minutes to be ready. So this will be ready in no time. The next step will be just to garnish the plate, ensure it looks good and presentable and then set it out for everybody to eat. It's actually served cold, so I won't need to keep it heated, which is another advantage of creating this easy shrimp, pepper shrimp dish. So this is the finished product. I don't want the camera to get the whole condensation effect, but let me see if I can go in here and do a zoom and I'll also try to show it when it's in the container that it's gonna be served in. But that's it, so our shrimp is done. So the sun is down a little bit, so it's time to put out the tables. And with COVID in mind, what I'm gonna do is not do the line that we typically do, but set it up sporadically so people are not in each other's space. So let's get to it, enough of the talking. Cloths now. So we're done. So it was a lot of hard work, but finally we got things done and 
I'm gonna share links of where I got the stuff that I'm using here because believe it or not, these are all disposable because I'm not into the washing of the many dishes anymore. So we're getting ready to start eating. So let's do a quick pan across what we'll be eating. So we'll be having jungle rice and peas, you know, as Jamaicans. We can't do Christmas dinner without the bungo peas. Of course, white rice, because we have curry goat. The salad is here as well. Um, we mistakenly put the raw vegetable in the oven. So now we have steamed lettuce, but we want to enjoy it the same way. This is a mac cheese platter that was done here. The ham was done here. But we partner with Grace Ho Great House Catering because as I say, what I'm not good at, I outsource. This is the shrimp I was doing this morning. This is roast beef. This is herb roasted chicken. And that's of course curry goat and pork chops. So we are ready for dinner. And we're gonna say our prayers now and eat. That's my nephew Jordan. Say hi, hi Jordan. How's everyone? <laughs> I don't know what to to say, right? Yeah, <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have dinner. We're not gonna share dinner because that's intimate family time. So it's bye for now, and I hope you enjoyed the vlog and what we had to share today. And I just wanna say to everyone, a Merry Christmas. I wish you nothing but the best. Remember that some of us, we did not give throughout the year. And if you are that person, now is the time. So make sure, and I posted this earlier in the year where I said, when you're buying a Christmas gift, buy extra ones and put under the tree because there's somebody out there in need who you can help. When you cook the Christmas dinner, cook a little bit of extra. And you can take it you know people are on the streets who don't have something to eat you make sure you take it to them if you can't do it today do it early tomorrow morning remember to to give all year round right so take care my rock stars and have a blessed Christmas and I know I'm gonna chime in again before the new year so I'll be able to talk to you about that but just have an amazing Christmas all the best mm -hmm.